All right, before we go to our next Luckin location, we gotta go get vaccinated. All right, that took forever. The one thing that I have noticed, I heard that Luckin does this like algorithmic placement of their stores. And it's always been a joke that Starbucks has always have like a Starbucks across the street from a Starbucks. So I was looking up the most nearby locations that have a Luckin coffee and happened to find that there's like clusters of Starbucks and like strategically placed Luckins. Today I think I'm gonna get the peach smoothie. It's another one of those dew point of like 82 days and it's pretty damn hot. What is the dew point, you ask? What it feels like to be in a certain place. So for reference, anything above 75 is considered, uh, It's about 82 here right now. I got that peach smoothie and I'm starting to think it kind of feels a little bit redundant. Like I can't imagine the wax berry and the avocado are gonna be delightful and then the peach is just god-awful, so. This isn't really adding much, but I said I was gonna try everything and I guess it's more for the location. You ever had peach rings? It's a peach ring smoothie. <laughs> Except for it tastes a lot more fresh. It's like a combination peach ring, real peach. Oh, wait. Definitely, re definitely real peach. <laughs> I was like, wait, is that a peach ring? All right, I'll give you a little more of a, a look around. Oh, well, no. probably shouldn't have given you a look around. I just spilled my smoothie on the floor. That sucks. I feel like such an ass. I'm always wondering like, who is the person that just like spills their smoothie on the ground and then leaves? No, no playing. Guess I gotta leave then. So it's kind of hard to tell. That location wasn't very busy. And like the woman behind the counter was constantly doing things. But it's not like they had a thousand drinks ready to go. But it's also a really small location that I imagine costs close to nothing, especially because it's inside the office building. So they pay rent to that office building. Like who else is going to want that location, a jewelry store? So if I were to guess, I would say they, they have to pay for the ingredients and for the two employees that were in there behind the counter who probably make minimum wage since there isn't really any training involved. I imagine that's a profitable location. Again, this could be confirmation bias, but I really feel like Luckin chooses their locations quite strategically, like with price in mind, because they know that everyone who wants to buy one of their coffees can just find the nearest location on the map. So they don't necessarily have to pay the huge amount of rent that comes with having it in like a big shopping mall like this one in front of me. Like, I bet there's a Starbucks in there, but they aren't looking for the type of customer who's like gonna go to a shopping mall and sit there for hours. They're looking for the type of customer who's just gonna buy their product. The amount of competition that Luckin has is like absolutely nothing compared to the amount of competition that the tea places have. And that's one of the interesting things I find about Luckin, like their main competitor is Starbucks. And I can't say that there's nowhere else you can get coffee, but milk tea, milk tea, milk tea, milk tea, terrible pizza, milk tea, milk tea, milk tea. Danger zone. And in the amount of time it took me to say that, there was probably like 15 new ones. All right, here we go. So this is the shopping mall of KK1. And it opens at 10 a.m. But Luckin opens obviously significantly earlier for the people who want to get coffee in the morning. So they've got this outer door here that's locked now so that you don't have to go in the mall to pick up your stuff. All right, I kind of feel like it's cheating to go to this location because it's the one I go to every morning before work. New coconut milk latte. That actually sounds amazing. I think I'm getting that today. But like I said, at a different location because I feel like it's cheating to go to that one. What do you guys think of BYD? I'm really into the idea of investing in BYD. 
because the government supports them. All of the government city buses, all of the taxis, all BYD cars. And they're a battery technology company. So government supported battery company, like that can only be good. All right, this is the Yunnan coffee coconut milk latte. I guess I'm kind of mixing two in one. Well, that's the best thing I've ever had. I tried making coffee with coconut milk once and it was gross. It just tasted like coconut milk and no coffee. Somehow they've managed to like overpower the coconut flavor with coffee flavor, but I can't really tell what their Yunnan coffee tastes like because it's, it is very coconutty. I think that's my new favorite thing. You gotta try that. This location, super tiny. It has one table inside. I bet their rent is basically free. So my conclusion, and this location probably makes money. And <laughs> I was not expecting that coconut milk to be that good. So my conclusion from these last few locations is that Starbucks goes for the prime location, the one that gets them the most like, whoa. Like they're an Apple store type thing where they like, they, they pick the, the shopping malls that most people go to so that they can have their name out there. Luckin goes for the most strategic location where they can pay a tiny bit of money in rent and make the most profit on that store. China is absolutely built around delivery. So like I know in the States we have Uber Eats and you've got uh, Postmates and it's very much seen as like a, if you don't want to go out, maybe a couple times a week, you'll like go order Postmates, but it's like, it's, a, it's an expense. Here, more often than not, it's cheaper to get your food delivered. It would be extremely unprofitable for a place to not offer some kind of delivery. Like it's expected at any place. So because of that, some restaurants will just not even have any seating and will be entirely, it's called Wai Mai, like outside by. And Luckin seems to have a lot of locations that are focused on Wai Mai. And so a friend of mine asked me what I think about what the numbers for 2020 are gonna look like because of the pandemic. I don't think they're gonna have an issue because people are still ordering Wai Mai and they were, in fact, they were ordering more Wai Mai. The Starbucks reserve location that normally has like a thousand people sitting there, that location probably saw a huge decline in business. But the luck in coffee that already had no one going to it and people are still ordering coffee at home and they like, making coffee at home is not a really common thing here. Therefore, if they still want their coffee, they're probably having it delivered. And if they're gonna have it delivered, they're probably gonna order Luckin because it's way cheaper. Everyone on Wai Mai is always looking for the cheapest thing, the biggest discount. And ordering Starbucks, where no one is gonna be able to see you drinking it, and it's gonna cost you like twice as much. But the pandemic didn't really affect China for all that long. Like things went back to normal pretty quickly. It was like lockdown hardcore for like three or four months and then everything went back to normal and like there's been no issues since. There's been like little tiny outbreaks where they're like, oh, hey, wait, everyone get tested, but not any really big issues. So yeah, I am willing to bet that their 2020 numbers are not gonna be an issue. Now, if I'm wrong on that bet, well, that just sucks, huh? Yeah, this is supposed to be filled with water. I'm standing in the middle of a water bed. Not sure why it's not full of water. Oh, and last thing before I go. What do you guys think about Neo? And I don't know the English name. It's Xiaopeng, that other. I'll just put it on the screen, like right here. I bought Neo at $8. Just thinking, eh, it's a gamble. What I, why not? And now it's at like $45 and I wish I had bought more when it dropped down to two bucks and I thought I'd lost my money. Oh, and one more thing. You should totally subscribe.